Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nash, and welcome to another episode of Paleo Pines. Yippee! Holy moly, we're back in my dinosaur kingdom. Uh, actually, my dinosaur farm kingdom thing. That is uh, still very much a work in progress. But uh, yeah, I actually have an update for you guys. You might notice that today is day eight instead of day seven. I was recording yesterday and it honestly was just such a slow day. It was so boring. Uh, there wasn't much that happened yesterday, so I just wanted to kind of skip over it and get on to the exciting stuff. So that's why we're jumping into day eight. I might do that every so often, so if you start to see the days not correlating with the, uh, the time uh, or the episode number, then that is why <laughs> it is because... Uh, some days are just a little bit dry, like I'm, I'm waiting for crops to grow. I just do my average stuff of taking care of the farm, you know? So it's just, um, sometimes it's, it's a little bit slow. There's slower days, just like if you work any job. Um, there's gonna be slow days and then there's gonna be super busy days. But first thing we're doing, starting off by, uh, cleaning up some, some poop here. <laughs> The life of a rancher is glorious. We have to go pick up some more over here next to Blueberry. And I think we might try to tame a dino today. I'm not sure. It kind of depends on questing and what our questing looks like. But there you go, Blueberry. I hope that makes you a little bit happier. And I need to give my dinos their treats for the day. But I wanted to go see my crops. Now, these are ready to harvest, which means we get to knock off some of the stuff today that i've been waiting to knock off i'm so so excited it, are my potatoes done i don't think so no just my spring onions and my carrots okay that's fine so we need to wait for the potatoes but i think i had a quest from pippin about spring onions so at least we can get that one done and then we are the carrot queen <laughs> uh just more and more carrots harvesting carrots all my life all right we need to bring basil over here to do some watering we'll come back and take care of my farm because like i just said i wanted to get some carrots uh going here i don't have any tomatoes i need to get more tomatoes for lucky i just i need to stop by corland's honestly but let's get some cranberries over to blueberry here man the day that blueberry becomes a helper i have been talking about this for days and days and days now every single episode i mentioned this but i'm so excited for blueberry to become a helper because then i think we can get to dapplewood and i'm i'm very excited to get to dapplewood and figure out the mysteries beyond dapplewood and the demo and stuff like that so speaking of basil we're gonna jump on basil's back and we're gonna head into town so i basically just did some resource collecting there was also a quest from owen where we needed to find his quill his missing quill and basically, I just had to talk to Granny as well as Mari to find it. So it was really easy. It was just village, like talking to villagers. I also did Mari's quest in my journal where she wanted me to uh, do the Gallimimus. So study a wild Gallimimus when it's sleeping. All you have to do is wait for it to sleep, pull out your journal, and then jot it down really quickly. So we will talk to Mari about that today. I'm sure we'll get another quest like that soon. So we will... I'll show you guys what it looks like another time but yesterday again was just like was so such a slow day in game so it was just kind of chill just to play by myself and have some fun it looks like pippin's not here which is so unfortunate dang it i really wanted to talk to him um okay well let's let's check my quest book because now i'm like dang what do i need to do i guess today might be another dino taming day yeah we just need 10 potatoes to talk to granny but we have everything else it does have potatoes for sake what if i bought 10 of them would that count feeling it's not gonna count it did quest update classic stew oh my gosh maybe this is the best way to do it because then i get to i get to keep all my potatoes well paint me purple and call me a beetroot what do you need i want to talk to you about this stew how are you doing with those veggies of mine i kind of cheated but it's fine <laughs> I've got them. I like the way you work. Hot diggity. Why don't you bag them up? I like the way you work. Okay. Anyways, uh, hold your hydrosaurus. Hydrosaurus? Uh, you ever learn how to cook? 
No, you mean you've been eating raw potatoes and uncooked onions since you moved in? Love a lumberjack, cooking's the best part of growing your own veg. Buckle up, buttercup, cause it's learning time. What? Okay, you've surely seen that cooking pot next to Owen's Lake. I have, I have. Take these ingredients I rustled up and head over there. I took the liberty of sticking the recipe in your journal while you weren't looking. You could have just handed it to me. You didn't have to slip it in my pockets, but that's fine. It's a good starter recipe. You'll learn others, but you'll never learn better. Now hop to it. Fiber as soon as possible. That's pretty easy. Fiber as soon as possible. Really easy. Fiber as soon as possible. Okay. And then carrot seeds. I have plenty of those, so we're good. All right, Miss uh, Granny. I have got some fiber for you. I have fiber for everybody. Everybody gets fiber today. Fiber in their diet. Y'all are going to have really great poops. I'm pretty sure that's not the same fiber that they're talking about, but I had to make the joke, you know? I had to. There we go. Safety shells. I mean, hey, I'm getting a bunch of money from this, but I will take it. I did want to see if I could potentially get a new dino today because I have my eye on our next dino, guys. But I don't have any clue what it would be interested in eating or anything like that. So I'm a little bit nervous, actually. I, I genuinely don't know what we need so it's kind of one of those things where we're just gonna bring everything and try different things all right let's head back to my farm and do some farming because i know i'm gonna forget if i don't now that song stuck in my head i like the way you work it carrot seeds are going into place gotta move my cursor around a little bit do a little donut here <laughs> a little donut spin and then we can get everything planted. I definitely want to expand my farm here soon because I, I think we're going to need more just for money's sake as well as um, it seems like the quests are pretty, pretty hefty when it comes to what you need. So it's always good to have more. All right, Basil, buddy. Basil. Basil's always red enough. I need to have Basil come water my crops. This is my favorite thing. And it's been raining so often, so I haven't been able to have Basil do this in a long time. In, like, days. Um, but I love when Basil waters crops. It's so fun. So we just score it like this. It is so cool. I love it. I love it. Alright, so crops are good to go for the day. Is that pretty much it? what we need to do? Oh yeah, we need to... Okay, so we definitely need to find Mari about a couple of things. And then we need to go do the classic stew for the cooking. Alright, Lucky, you're gonna come with me for this one. So let's go get this done. I'm also gonna clean up this this stuff here. This the pre on the farm. Because again, we're gonna make a new, new pet here later. We'll probably come clean up later before bed because I want to get to the cooking. And again, we have to make sure we keep an eye on where Mari is. I have no clue. She's not here. She's usually... Oh, okay. She's in her, her usual spot over there. Very nice. All right. Cooking pot is over at Owen's. Do we want to do that first? Yeah, let's do that first because that's super exciting. I'm going to go grab this herbivore food quickly. And then I'm also going to grab some of these pears. You can never have enough pears. Let's go. And then over the hill. Use the shortcut over the hill to get to Owen's house. Yes. Okay. So, cooking pot. Cooking pot. There was like a, a cooking pot somewhere over here. It was over, over here somewhere. Whoa. What tree is this? This is something I haven't discovered before. Okay. Oh, it's an apple tree. Oh, it bears apples in a different season probably. That's actually really good to keep in mind. Okay, so apple tree near Owens, that's beautiful. Now, where is this dang cooking pot? I remember seeing it around... Oh, there it is. There it is, I see it. Yeah, it was like right here by the dock. Beautiful. Okay, this is gonna be my first time cooking. I am beyond excited about this, guys. Like, this is actually genuinely very, very exciting. So, I'm not quite sure how we do this. Oh! To make classic stew, first choose the soup category. Okay, we're in the soup. Okay, soup category. Gotcha. Base ingredients are rocks and twigs. Is that correct? Until you master the stew, you must experiment to find the, cr uh, the correct flourishes. Oh my goodness. Okay, experiment. Okay, so these are base ingredients. But I just gotta throw stuff in. Well, I'm gonna assume it's one spring onion one potato and one carrot okay that's the lowest quality that makes gloop most likely result is gloop okay and apparently 
add exactly 10 potatoes to your oh oh that makes potato soup oh add 15 okay oh i'll i'm just gonna say it now these are um these are hefty recipes our farm's gonna need to be huge oh no i don't even think oh i do have 20 carrots okay wait let's uh actually wait let's do max that did that work what's happening here <laughs> holy moly okay so we need 10 potatoes we need 15 finally add 20 carrots to the pot do i drop these in um what is happening what is happening here ah there we go okay classic stew so i just okay so it tells you over here what's in it so 15 of 22 10 of 10 20 of 20 that's it press cook to make this stew don't forget to stop cooking before it burns <sighs> what okay oh my goodness wait for it Okay, I'm making stew now. Oh, I did it. Master chef of paleo pines. Master the classic stew. Wow, success, you've mastered that recipe. You can cook it again anytime or keep experimenting to find new recipes. So that definitely took all of my stuff, right? Now, what does this do for me is what I'm interested in. You know, like, does it give me buffs? Does it make me, can I, can I eat it? Can I give it to my dinos? I can eat it. I, I, I can eat it. Oh. So does that give me more stamina? Can I make like cranberry stew? Well, it's gonna make gloop. I put in just... It does change here, so you can just kind of like... Yeah, okay, that's not gonna get us anything. That's fine. Pear soup? <laughs> Carrot soup? Oh no, wait. Uh, Go back. I don't want any of these in here, so let's do minimum. Let's take those out. Okay, so can I make like a carrot soup? If I do have tons of carrots. No, nope, that just makes gloop. Oh, carrot soup. Okay, if I put in seven, that makes carrot soup. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Okay. I made gloop? What the? How did I make gloop? I made carrot soup, not gloop. All right, well, I'm definitely gonna have to get the hang of this later. We're gonna need a lot more crops. Um, my farm needs to be way bigger. I need to go talk to Mari, so let's head across the bridge and go see her. Lucky leveled up again. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Mari's back here. I always go past her to like where the Gallimimus are. All right, Mari, so I did research Gallimimus for you. Uh -oh. You mean it's really true about the Gallimimus? Incredible. They do, in fact, sleep, Mari. They do, in fact, sleep. Just like other living things. Wow, thanks. All right, there's the fiber. We are we are cruising. We're doing good. I can't believe we learned how to cook today. That's so crazy. I'm, I'm very excited about it. So my inventory is getting a little bit full here. I guess it's probably a good time to head back home. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to dump off my inventory. I was going to say I want to work on a new pen. And then I want to get that set up for the next episode when I think we're going to try to tame a new dino. I don't know. We'll see. Again, I have no idea what we need for uh, for this dino that I have my eyes on, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll see. Oh no. Bring the stew to Granny Agami. I ate it. I ate the stew. Oh no. That is uh, not good. Uh, can I remake it? The thing is, I don't. I need 15 spring onions. We can go into town and see. I don't think she's gonna want gloop, if I'm being totally honest with you guys. We could try to remake it if we can get some more spring onions from Corlin. I need to go into town to buy more fence posts and a gate and a trough anyway. So I think that's gonna be the move. I always forget, like, that I'm probably gonna have to bring it to them after, and I, I don't know why. I just never think about that. And then here I am like a total boob like what am i doing honestly who knows maybe i'll get lucky and she'll take it without me having to bring it to her although i feel like that's not gonna work i think i do have to have it in my inventory so we might just have to might have to try to cook it again we'll see yeah she doesn't have an exclamation point above her head so that's not looking very promising all right all right guys feeling a little oh yes bring on you. right so we need 15 of these okay there it is 15 so we have enough of everything so we can remake the recipe do oh, i only have 60 shells i was questing like a mad woman today how do i only have 60 my goodness all right we're going back to cooking guys we're going back to cooking all right we're gonna try this again 
So if I go into soup, classic stew, that is going to cook. Okay, we can cook one of those. Now I still don't really get the whole, um, pulling it out before it burns thing. There we go. Oh, okay. So it just kind of wouldn't change its color, I guess. All right, let's go take this to, uh, to granny. Although I'm definitely out of carrots and potatoes and all of that because I had to make two and I'm feeling a little bit insecure about just not thinking forward. All right, granny. I did a little bit of cooking. Well, looky here, one portion of classic stew. Now you know the basics. Don't be afraid to experiment from time to time. Sure, you may end up with some catastrophes, but no harm in trying new things. Here, take another recipe. A little tip from me to you. Everyone loves a fresh cooked meal on their budding day. Anyways, I should be getting this over to Mari. She loves it when I cook for her. I should be getting this over to Mari. She loves it when I cook for her. Are you, do you mean the soup that I just gave you that I cooked? Speaking of budding days, tomorrow is in fact Mari's budding day. Did she just take my soup to give to Mari on her budding day tomorrow and be like, do we actually see the recipes in our journal now? We do. We do. We got a new tab. Carrot soup. So did I already unlock that one though? Classic and carrots. Nice. So 10 carrots, three potatoes. Mmm, ir irresistibly earthy. Dinos who love earthy foods are extra happy when you interact with them. Whoa. Oh, bountiful increases crop harvest. <gasps> so it gives you buffs or boosts. Wow. So eating actually does have its benefits. Okay. Lucky, do you have stamina is the thing though? Because I feel like, yeah, you have tons. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, I'm thinking if we just kind of take all of this out back here, then we can expand this uh, farming land all the way back. We can move the the water, so that's not going to be an issue. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of these rocks. I'm so excited about it. There's just so much like big debris in the way on our farm that I just I really want to take care of. So I think what I'm going to do here, yeah, there we go. We can pick up the medium pond. I am just going to move this over ear for the time being i know i said this is going to be a future uh future dino area which it it will be but um i kind of want to get some crops set up some more crops and what i'm thinking is we start sectioning this these off into maybe plots of nine and then we kind of just section them off with a gap in between that way we can have them Actually, maybe not even nine. Maybe we need a lot of crops in this in this game. So I'm going to go there and there. So this is going to give us five, right? Five by five? Yeah. So maybe we do 15 by... We do 15 of each crop. That could be really good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I fully fell down there. I didn't mean to do that to myself. That feels kind of sad. Okay, well, anyways, guys. I uh, kind of got some new farming plots set up so we can make our farm bigger and better, which will be amazing. We've got all of our dinos that we need to give some love into before we all go to bed. And hopefully, Blueberry, come on, buddy. Yeah, I need to break these rocks down, so I really hope that uh, you're a helper soon. That's what I'm hoping for. Good night, Basil. Love you very much. You've been a noble, valiant steed. Lucky, of course. Best friend since childhood. Love you so much. And then my little teddy bear. Teddy, teddy, teddy. So cute little hungry dude your trough is topped off so you're all good for the night but uh i love you teddy you're so sweet but you guys that is gonna have to do it for this episode of paleo pines thank you so much for watching our farm is growing and growing and i can't believe we unlocked cooking i again never got to that point in the demo so it's really exciting to get to some new things i'm excited to go to dapplewood as well so stay tuned for that but thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you in the next episode of paleo pines don't forget to head down below, subscribe and like, and have a very beautiful, wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya! Whee!